Google searches for the term National Archives increased sharply after the FBI search of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. But it's not the first time that someone has been accused of taking items that belong to the National Archives. Here's CBS's Scott McFarlane. Well, there's no doubt as to which one the most Many of us keep old collectibles in the basement, but no one does it like David Golden. Now, yeah, it goes up to 25,000. In a climate-controlled vault in his Connecticut home, Golden has more than 100,000 historic audio recordings he's chased down or collected for decades. Remarkably, not a single enemy aircraft. Including dispatches from World War II and an original recording of Orson Welles' 1938 War of the Worlds and the lone copy of an obscure 1937 broadcast of Babe Ruth, Hunting Birds. Some so valuable, he's donated them to the National Archives near Washington. So you can imagine his shock years later when he spotted that Babe Ruth recording on eBay. I said, holy expletive. Um, th that can't be. An archives employee lifted the recording and tried to sell it. The Justice Department found Leslie Waffen also stole a series of other artifacts. In 2018, historian Antonin DeHayes pleaded guilty to stealing from the archives, too, snatching historic pieces that included a fallen Tuskegee Airman's dog tags during a visit to the archives. CBS News has learned of about a half dozen theft cases involving thousands of stolen documents in the past decade, but none as bold as Barry Landau's. I think he just thought he could get away with it. Landau stole presidential records from FDR's library in New York and artifacts from the Maryland Center for History and Culture in Baltimore and pocketed the items after sewing extra pockets in his coat and trying to distract the staff with cupcakes and charm until an eagle-eyed staffer spotted Landau's sticky fingers. He's sitting at this table. Mm -hmm. Somebody spots him from above. Yes. Up there. Yes. Landau, DeHayes, and Waffen all pleaded guilty and served prison time. As for Dave Golden, his archives donations are returned, and the home library is still growing. The archives has tight security and cameras and internal inspectors who track down stolen items and check for those secondhand sales, because there are people who try to find a price for America's priceless treasures. Scott McFarland, CBS News, Washington.